today's topic will be subqueries. I'll give you an overview of what is subquery. We'll do it practically together to understand how the things are working. Okay, so let me start. Uh, so uh, we had our products table right in the customer's database that we were using. So if I told you to please give me something, for example, uh, give me the name of the products. Give me the product ID and name of the product. With the highest price. So can you tell me how will you do this? If you can write the answer in the chat section. In the products table, uh, you can go in the products table. It's on W3 schools. We had a product table and I want you to give me the name of the product and the product ID with the highest price. Product ID, name, price, and so on. So these were the three uh, three uh, columns that you need to take care of for this particular question. So one way of solving it is by using the method that you told me. You you'll just write select product ID, product name. Uh, and Select product ID and product name from products. Order by price descending. And then you limit it to one. Right? This was the answer that people have given me. And I think this works. Okay? So... The other answer will be uh, so uh, the order by price descending and limit one. So for example, let me run it on W3 for you. Let me do it on W3 and just check it out how well I'll do it. Sharing my screen again with device. With a query B, this is the product table. Let's see. So the answer should be select product ID, comma product name from products, okay, where, uh, where what was there, where, uh, no, order kind of, sorry, order by price descending and limited to one, right? So you will get this answer, product ID 38 and product name is this, okay? And if I want to see the price as well, I can just put comma here and see the price. Okay, so you can see this is the price that that is there for this product, okay? So now I'll ask you, is there any shortcut to do this query? the price beforehand for example this is your price where price is this much right so how you can do it so if i just say select product id product name comma price from products where price is this where price is equals to this will this work yeah this will work but right now i actually calculated the price and that's how i came to know about it so in a huge query data set you cannot go ahead and just calculate the price and then do it it will take like if you want to say uh, see the maximum price you have to write a query for maximum price and then use it here right so one one thing that you can do here is you can actually try having a subquery so the subquery was very easy the subquery here will be you want the maximum price, right? You want the maximum price. 
and we know the function for max is uh, for maximum is max right and we can put max price here do you think it will work like this where price is equals to max price This is the wrong syntax. Let me just run it for you. This is the wrong syntax. Also, Divya gave an answer. The same uh, Divya Shri's answer here. This may be you will have to print the price, right? If you do this, you will have to print the price. I don't want the price to be printed. So again, if I remove this particular uh, max price wala thing, then it will not give me the answer. Yes. Amit has given the right answer. We'll use a subquery here and I'll tell you how. Okay. So first of all, you will need to get this. You first need to understand how to get the maximum price. Okay. I told you I can get maximum price by using max price, but this is not the right syntax, right? Where price is equal to max price is not the right syntax. So the right syntax will be where price if you want to do it, right? Okay, if you want to get the maximum price from the query. I just, I am just asking you if you want to get the maximum price, that's it. What will be the query? The query will be very simple. The query will be uh, select max price from products. So this particular query, this query will give you the maximum price that is there of your products. So we will include this query in our first query, right? So select product ID, product name for products, where price, where price is equals to, instead of max price, this is the wrong syntax, you just have to write this. Uh, one second again, let me. Copy this. Yep. So yes, now you get your answer thirty eight and this, or uh, what is whatever the product name is. The only thing that was wrong in that query that everybody else wrote was the uh what do you call it the syntax of this thing. You cannot write where price is equal to max price. Okay. So for getting that particular price, you have to use this. Select max price from products. It will give you the value of what? It will give you the select max price from products will give you the highest value that is there. That, that should be around 263, I guess. So it will give you this thing. And where price is equal to 263 will be there. And the query will work similarly in that sense. So this is how subquery is particularly working here, right? Uh, if I want to remove this. Now, if I ask you to give me the name and the product ID of the product where we need to get the minimum price. So instead of max, you can just write min. And you have the product name and a product ID. So you can see this is your product name and a product ID. So one question that can be asked is, Muskan does the subquery. This is your subquery, a query inside a query. This is a query that is inside this bigger query. It's called a subquery, right? But uh, one thing that you guys can ask is, can Muskan does uh, the subquery always return a single value? No, that is not always the case. You can return multiple values too. For example, in this question only, if I want to return both minimum and maximum price, both minimum and maximum price of a particular product, then how will you solve it? You can give all kinds of answer without using subquery, with using subquery, with using some order or something. Try doing it. Give, I'm writing the question. Product ID, comma product name for cheapest and the most expensive product. Everyone can see my screen. Just 
take a look at what I'm trying to do, right? So we'll break this query into two parts. So one we need is the cheapest and one we need is the expensive, right? For example, uh, if I need the cheapest product, so to write a query for the cheapest product, it's very simple. Select men price from products. This will give you the minimum price that is there. For example, I'm just guessing it's five rupees. Okay. So it will give me the output as five. Now, if I need the one for the maximum price, I can use select max price from products. And it will give me the maximum price. I think it was 263. So this will be my output, right? So now what I need is I want if I if suppose if you know both of these values, just always keep in your mind, you have to first break the query in the simpler parts to understand it, right? So if you know both of these queries, right? Uh, both of the answers, 5 and 263, then how will you proceed? So you will write select product ID from products, so product ID comma product name from products where price in, you will write five or 263, right? This will be your answer. So instead of this, instead of writing five, you will write the query, you will write this query. And instead of writing 263, you will write this query. And one more thing to keep in mind is you have to always enclose your subqueries in brackets because that's a rule. Um, now. Let's see if this works or not. I'll just remove this one. Always oh, thought, okay, from products. Yep. So you got both the answers. So you have to break the queries in a simpler part to understand how to work with this, right? So Devashri has given me this answer. Check. Okay. So now you can see this one is giving for this particular thing. Minimum price, right? If I change the and to or, let's see if we get the answer. So now also it's giving me this. Why? Because it is selecting this one only. So you have to either do this where price uh, is equals to select where price and select minimum price from products. Comma select. Achha, you have used min both. Dono jaga you have used min, right? Ekba check karo the thing that you have written in the chart section. Usme dono jaga you have used it. Uh, min. You have not used max. Yeah, that will work, but barbecue will like Okay? So, one time, try to do it again. Okay? Now, let's see. And here, and here, and here, max. If I use and, if I use again, so you can see, Yape koi bi essa record niya just ke do price on five and two sixty three. That's not the case. So you have to use all. Yes. Because you want either minimum price or maximum price. So you'll get both of that. Mene bataya tha, uh, in ki jaga you can use or 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 ki jaga you can use in. So when I used in, you could have understand it in a very simpler manner. Ki you can use or here as well. Right? So this is how your subquery can work. You can have multiple values from a subquery. For example, right now, if you see this subquery of mine is giving me 
both minimum and maximum thing. Uh, both minimum, minimum will be five and maximum will be 263. Both of them it is giving me. So it's not necessary that your subquery will only give you one value. It can have multiple values to be given as well. Okay. Uh, so this was a small part of subquery. I think I should give some questions to you to solve. Uh, let me find a table. Okay. So first question is, uh, give me the order ID for the product with order ID and product ID for the product with minimum quantity. Next is for the maximum quantity. And the other one is in a single query. Try doing both together. Okay, three questions. Very easy one. Abhi aisa question hi we have done, but I just want you to get familiar with syntax. Isle do this question and let me know once we are done with this. Okay. 